The title of this video actually doubles as my first in the list of old guy excuses. Hey, second community, this is Steve Grusis the Second in Greek. Speaking of old guy excuses, I'm on the back end of 67. Because of the number of people in this race, I haven't gone through and checked out the ages, but I'm pretty confident I'm one of the older guys. To throw in another excuse, this four days of training comes at the end of a long six-week training block. Now I get to take a couple days off, and then on the third day, I'm going to do my leg openers, which will be prepped for my race season opener. Two days, two road races. And this is the point in the race, or really the point in the promenade, because the timing really hasn't started yet. I think it's just started now, that my legs said, hey, you've had enough. It's time to take a rest. My legs just couldn't keep up with this B field. And I got to tell you, I was not happy about that. My legs were done, but my mind was still in it. So... I was really thinking about pulling myself out, I'd rest a little bit, and then I'd start to pick it up again, and then I'd have to rest a little bit. Eventually, after a lot more people passed me than I passed them, I hooked up with a couple people, and then we were off to the races. By the end of the first lap, I was able to connect with a couple riders, that's Josh Busby in the purple, and Sharif Osman in the Tron bike. Okay, this was a lot better than pulling myself out. We have a long ways to go, and I'm hoping that we're going to catch some people. Of course, that means I'd have to do some work, which I really was not keen on doing just because, well, just because I'm an old guy, and my legs are killing me, and these guys probably aren't. This is one of Zwift's new race courses in Scotland, and I knew what to expect because I'd done this race course before, actually two days before, and it didn't turn out well. This is the second of five laps, and we're on the toughest part of the course. We make that right turn, we go over a small hill, then we head into this big hill that you see that we're on now. And with this one, you just have to sustain a lot of power, and this is where I can go off the back. While I'm maintaining a little VO2 max, Osman is just laying down a lot of watts and going up ahead of us. Busby is dropping back, but we're pretty much holding together, and so now he's trying to slip ahead of me. I've now crossed into my anaerobic zone, wondering what's going to happen next, but it looks like Osman is starting to slow down. So we're going to be Grupo Compacto again, thankfully. The rest of the pack is actually split up ahead of us. You have groups ranging from 23 seconds to 50 seconds ahead. As we lead into that tough series of climbs on the third lap, we'd actually picked up another rider, and that is Hideki Takahashi from Japan. At 53, he's by far the closest in age to me. With this four-day block that I'm finishing, I wanted to overload myself so I can get some super compensation with some extra rest leading into this race weekend. But first, I'm anaerobic zone 6, taking the lead and activating the only power-up that we have this burrito, so they can't draft off of me. I figure they'd have to apply more power to get around me, which two of them are doing, that's Takahashi and Osman. My plan didn't take into account that they might be lighter. I'm 75 kilos, and they may be less. Busby wasn't part of that attack. He's about two seconds back, but he'll get back up to us. And I was thankful that everybody pretty much slowed down when they got to the top. As we start that same series of climbs on the fourth lap, I feel like my legs are on borrowed time. And it's all going to depend on how the others are feeling. But let's go back to that four-day training block. It started off with that first day being about almost five hours of endurance with a bunch of spice thrown in there. And then when I got to the, the next day, day two, my plan was to do this uh, the same race. And uh, after I did a bit of endurance, problem was that my legs were cooked from the day before. And after I got dropped, I actually went into steady state mode for the rest of the race, or pretty much the rest of the race, to try and catch people and stay away from others, which I pretty much did. In spite of how my legs were feeling, I was laying down some watts to try and connect with these guys, or stay connected with these guys. Osman and Takahashi were the strong ones. Busby was still back there. So I figured these two guys are the ones that have to watch at the finish. But I still had one more series of climbs to go over before we got to the finish. As we lead into those same two climbs on this last lap, we are about two clicks away from the finish. The way I'm feeling, I can easily see one of those guys taking off on that last climb and just holding it all the way to the end. I can also easily see the other three just taking off on that climb and then just leaving me in their wake. For whatever reason, I was thinking, I'm not going to go lead this climb. I'm just going to go ride wheels like I can ride their wheels coming up a climb. So now they're taking off. I'm now doing over 400 watts, and I'm actually maintaining that. I had to put the burrito on just in case anybody was behind me, but usually if they're behind me, they're not going to stay that long. And you know, it looks like I'm still doing 400 plus watts, thankfully. And it looks like they're slowing down a bit. As you can see, we also on that climb picked up another rider, Lawrence Reeves, 62-year-old. Lawrence Reeves. 
More kudos for us old guys. While it is now one mile to go, let's go back to that four day training block I was talking about. So now day three. On day three, I was planning to do two hours in which 40 minutes were going to be threshold. I started off at threshold, but I just couldn't maintain it. My legs were too wrecked from the day before, which were probably too wrecked from the day before that. So I ended up doing 75 minutes of tempo, in which my cadence ranged from 90 to 105. That night, as the days before, I used the foam roller to roll up my legs. If you've never done that, that's one of those necessary evils that pays off so much for you. But it hurts so much too. All right, back to the race. All five of us are together. I'm still recovering from that big effort I did to come up that climb. Ordinarily, I'd park myself at the back so I can have a bit of a draft as I ran into the finish, but I just wasn't trusting my legs. I am barely holding it together. Have no idea what I'm going to do at the end. Have no idea what these guys are going to do at the end, but at least a couple of them, they were looking pretty strong. I also thought about, well, momentarily thought about, attacking with half the K to go and maintaining it all the way to the end, but... You know, I realized I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd be caught and then I'd just be dumped. Looking at the map insert in the upper right hand corner, there is a rider that's ahead of us about seven seconds right now. And he is losing ground. I'm sure the others see him too. So I'm actually positioned toward the back and there's maybe there's one person behind me and that's uh, 62 year old Reeves. If you've been watching my channel before, you know that I'm not a sprinter. And that's where I really try to take off before everyone else starts their sprint. But again, that's definitely not happening today. Pretty much the only plan I have left is to stay as close as I can to the others and then just accelerate when they accelerate and hope for the best. And speaking of, it's game on now. Owens has taken off and Busby is going after him. I'm doing over 450 watts with Reeves and Takahashi on my tail or starting to fall back just a bit. I'm getting close to Busby and son of a gun, I'm still maintaining now close to 500 watts. I pass him. I can't believe it. That's a bit of a small victory for me, even though I finished 43rd out of 48 in the category B's and about 3 minutes 13 seconds behind the winner. I'll take what I can get. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. As always remember, comment, like, subscribe, The Cycling Greek. And make sure you subscribe. With the on the road race season starting soon, there's going to be plenty of videos that I'm going to be doing. Stay tuned for those.